a sacrifice, Sadie Sink is seduced into joining a cult despite her father, played by Eric Bana, making a career about community and loneliness. So to summarize the film, after Ben's marriage falls apart, he left California for Germany and began a new life there. But alongside leaving his ex-wife, he also left his now 16-year-old daughter named Mazzy. However, with her not doing well in school in California, Ben is tasked with stepping up as a father, which seems a bit challenging since he's really gotten used to being independent. Into Martin and Hilma, two members of a local cult, who prey on Mazzy being young, her conflicts with her dad, and the desire to recruit her or perhaps make her a sacrifice. So get into the review portion. The first high is just it, a sacrifice's take on cult recruitment. And the reason this is a highlight is because while it's a constant trickle of media featuring various cults that exist, a sacrifice just as much helps you understand the allure and what gets people to commit to them. For in an age where there's increased demand for human connection and loneliness is apparently considered an epidemic, cults come off very attractive. You feel seen by this very charismatic charismatic person who makes you feel valued, you get what can appear like a family, and you have a sense of purpose and a goal set by the leader, so there's this undeniable sense of belonging. And in the film, Mazzy's at that age where she's starting to rebel against her parents, and unfortunately as this happens, she moves across the world to a place where she doesn't necessarily speak the language, and one of the first people she meets that's friendly to her is this cute boy. While it isn't clear what type of life that Mazzy had in the past besides her not doing well in school, you know, that's kind of the allure of getting to be in an established group and kind of getting to reinvent yourself. For with these new friends that become family, they don't have all the evidence of what it took for you to get to this point in your journey. All they understand is a person that you want to be seen as. And because cults, you know, try to have you see the best of yourself and really get you to hone in on that, you know, it's easy for you to kind of get into the mindset that they want the best for you. They see you for who you really are. And... I mean, even take a note of Martin. He doesn't have to reveal, and this is all just examples since we kind of don't know much about him. He doesn't have to reveal that he potentially failed out of college, is unable to hold a job. Instead, you get this radical form of acceptance that feels so strange that you yearn to adapt to it as your new normal. Then the last highlight plus is that how everything comes together, especially in the form of foreshadowing. For whether it's the mention of sirens or other little tidbits, a lot of things are set up in a way that could make for a very entertaining watch if you're the type of person who remembers or takes note of little things said and done and aren't just like what happens under the screen. With all that said, this is not a perfect movie. One of our main issues is that the ending can feel very anticlimactic because while it's very admirable how all things come together and build up toward the end, I would be lying to you if I didn't say the ending did feel a bit rushed and that it was just made so everything could come together. For whether it's Hilma's origin story, Ben putting together the pieces to finally figure out what's going on with his daughter, his daughter, excuse me, I'd submit a sacrifice is almost like an M. Night Shyamalan film in that it has a wonderful build with many quotable scenes that I wish I was able to capture while I was watching the film, but you know, that's what Video On Demand is for. And overall, I think there's a lot of notable moments, but in terms of sticking that landing, a sacrifice doesn't necessarily do that. Overall, when it comes to a sacrifice, there are a handful of lines worth quoting. You get a sense of what draws people to a cult, and it definitely has a very interesting build toward the end. However, with not sticking the ending in honestly being forgettable as time goes on the sacrifice definitely is something to watch but it's by no means something that needs to be on the top of your list something you rush to see